Welcome to Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. This is my one of my favorite pasta dishes, chicken spaghetti. And uh, well, the beauty is, give me that, give me that grinder, amigo. This is the best purchase I ever bought. It was a little grinder attachment for my KitchenAid mixer. You should have one of these. They're so great. And uh, so we make, you know, uh, buffalo chicken meatballs, whatever we want to grind. So we had to do a batch of uh, buffalo chicken meatballs. So I left a little bit extra chicken because I want to show you this recipe. Basically, you can make this in the time that it takes to boil pasta. So here we got some linguine right in the water. You always, I don't put any salt. I don't put anything in the water. A lot of people put salt, a lot of people put oil. It's wrong, I don't do that. That's just me. But anyway, so some olive oil. I already got the skillet hot. Some butter. And uh, I got a little bit of a red onion and a little bit of a uh, white onion and a little bit of bell pepper in here. A little bit of salt and pepper. Of course, a good amount of garlic. You know I love garlic. Just gonna let that brown up. I like to leave it a little bit, don't let it brown. I left it for a minute or so. Let that flavor, let that natural flavor develop. My favorite on a cold, on a cold winter day, on a Sunday. I love it. A little bit of fresh basil. That's a little bit of red pepper flake. Some good marinara sauce. A little bit of pasta water. I've already salted the meat, so the chicken, so I won't add any more now. Spaghetti, linguine, this is good with angel hair, everything. I'm gonna cover this, let it boil up, we'll be right back. We're gonna do the pasta, a little bit more garlic.
Let that butter and the garlic in the bottom cook a little bit. Parmesan. So what I do is put a little bit of sauce in now. Just let that the pasta absorb a little bit of flavor. A little bit of pasta water. Keep the pasta from sticking to the bottom. One more. My part, my partner in Fort Worth, Dominic, Daddy Jackson, Fort Worth, Texas. His brother Paul from Brooklyn. He, he says he puts like a half, like a quarter pound of butter when he cooks his pasta. He loves it. So, there's a little tribute to him. So, so. I tell you what, this is so good leftover. Oh. There's a little bit of chopped basil. That's it. That's that chicken spaghetti. I eat it cold the next morning. I love it. So good for you too. You know, sometimes red meat, take a break. Do a ground turkey, ground pork, whatever. But that's our chicken spaghetti. Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. Shane O'Connell on the video. Videographer doing a wonderful job for us now. We're working together. We, have you've seen, we brought some new technology, microphone, and uh, second camera, lighting. We're, we're going high tech with this, but also we're in the process of working on our show. Daddy Jack's Cook with the Blues, taking musicians, putting them together, putting them in the kitchen with us, and, and putting together music and food. We're very excited about this. And this is uh, from Daddy Jack's 181 Bank Street, beautiful downtown in London, Connecticut. No other place we want to be. Peace.